Hey guys, RK Kaiju back with another Mango Spice Cafe box. It has finally come in. I feel like it's been forever since we got to do the last one. Let's get started. Oh. There's the pamphlet. We'll put it aside and go over it last. Lovely. All right. Oh, we got some little Easter eggs. All right, let's see. We have a strawberry candy. Feels pretty hard. And a apple candy. Ooh, let's try the apple candy. Okay. It definitely tastes like I've just bitten into an apple. That was really good. And once again, I've eaten a hard candy before eating everything. <laughs> All right. Let's put that aside for a bit. Looks like we had a, another egg. This one has a peach Kit Kat. That is cool. I don't think I've seen the peach flavor. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it or not, but Japan tends to make all sorts of interesting flavors with Kit Kat bars. Um, if you guys have tried other flavors, let me know which ones you guys have really enjoyed. There we go. Alright, let's see what else we got. It looks like we have more Pocky Sticks. They kind of feel very Pocky-ish. Um, I'm not sure what flavor they are because they have little roses on them, so maybe they are a rose flavor. Um, the pamphlet should hopefully tell us what kind of flavor that is. Let's see. <laughs> we got a witch's chips, I guess. Let's see. It just says corn crisp and barbecue flavored. All right, all right. All right, Cheesy poofs. Hmm. I feel like the back light a little bit because I don't taste barbecue. Hmm. They just taste like kick cereal. I don't know if you guys ever had kick cereal back in the day. But that's exactly what these days like. They don't have like any cheddar flavor. They don't have any barbecue flavor. They're just um Tastes pretty plain. <laughs> Alright, not too bad. Oh god, this is big. We have a chocolate croissant. It is, I don't know if you can tell, but it is actually extremely big. And it's very, a lot of air in it. <laughs> we'll set that aside for later. We did get our ramen. I'll let you guys take a look first. It looks like we got a Wai Wai brand oriental style instant noodles. Um, not sure what a Wai Wai brand it is. When I give them a try, I'll try to remember to let you guys know what it tastes like. It says that seasoning is chicken flavored with garlic. So garlicky chicken. All right. Oh, and then of course, the big bag of potato chips. These are seedweed and salt potato chips. Seedweed and salt. Maybe these will be a little bit easier to open. Whew, they have proofed them. Mm, so, mm. They do have a unique flavor to them. They are definitely a potato chip. You could definitely taste like the oiled potato chippy to it. I don't know. They're so interesting flavored that it's kind of hard not to want to keep eating them. So they're a bit of addicted. Addicting? Sorry. 
but yeah, not too bad. I'll set those aside for later. And of course, we get a drink to go with all of our snacks. So this one is a grape flavor. It's sparkling. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Let's give it a try. Definitely smells like grape. It's very grapey. It tastes like a grape Kool-Aid, but with sparkling water. So, in other words, it's pretty good. I've never seen these. They are really good. I would suggest them if you've seen them. It has tons of flavor, so it's not like most of your sparkling water where you just taste like the sparkles. <laughs> Uh, so it actually has a nice flavor to it. So I do like it. It goes very well with potato chips. All right, so that is all of our snacks. Um, got a lot of potato chips in this one. Um, and then, of course, our drink. But let's get over to the manga. All right. So... She did wrap them separately. Um, so there is two more in there. We'll go over them in one moment. Um, so if you're new to the box, she always gives us first issue mangas. She tells us what one of them is and then the other two are just a mystery. Um, so this one is Tista from the Creative of Spy and Family. In New York City, the NYPD struggles to track down a serial killer known as the Sister Matilia, who has been targeting monsters and other criminals in the Big Apple. No one knows who Sister Matilda really is except for a few residents of a Catholic orphanage, and her name is Tista. Ooh. She looks pretty bad, eh? Mm -hmm. It looks cute. Let me show you some of the artwork. I do like Spy and Family, so I'm excited to give this a try uh, if you already read it and you like it let me know all right let's see what the other two were all right let's see the next one is the girl i forgot her glasses <laughs> Oh, I misheard that. It says, the girl I like forgot her glasses. I think I must have said that a second ago. <laughs> the distance between a boy and his crush shrinks every time she forgets her glasses. Komura starts her school year with a new seat neighbor in a homeroom. Me. Before long, he's nursing a raging crush on his quirky classmate who almost always forgets her glasses. Well, this might be ideal for Komura to get to know me better, but his poor heart gives out before the daily strain of being up close and personal with the girl he likes. Aww. That sounds really cute. Cute. Another brand new one that I am not familiar with, but it does sound really cute. And then the last one, which was the one that she did let us know last time, was the um, Call the Name of the Night. So deep within the forest residents, a curious pair, Maya, a girl with an inflection that calls forth the night, and Re, a kindly doctor searching for the cure, their days pass peacefully until an old acquaintance appears. Ooh, I wonder who the acquaintance is. Looks a little cute. Artwork. I just love manga artwork. All right, that is our three mangas, all first issues. Let's take a look at the cute little pamphlet. Oh. All right. Let you guys take a look first. Um, so she introduces like each of the authors of the mangas and kind of goes into a little bit more detail. Um, so for the, the girl I like forgot her glasses, they're already out in volume three, um, which releases May 16th. So it looks like this 
uh, manga. I actually started out as a web manga on the artist's Twitter account before being published digitally. So go her. Look at that. Started their manga on Twitter and got into a book. All right. Called the Name of the Night. Volume 2 releases July 18th. That's a little bit of time. Let's see. So not much is known about this manga author. Huh. We'll have to read them and give them a try. And the last one, Testa Volume 2, be released July 4th. And let's see. Okay, the artist used to work as an assistant on Blue Exorcist and Fire Punch. That's pretty good. Those both are really good uh, mangas and animes if you haven't seen them. And then the back of the pamphlet, um, normally she stars the main manga artist and kind of gives a little bit extra about them. Uh, let's see, find the egg and win. It's that time of year again, spring is here, and maid Bunny Chan has decided to spread some joy by hiding colorful eggs in everybody's box this month. Let the hunt begin. Each hidden egg holds a special surprise. If you find one, you'll get an extra sweet treat. Oh, I guess I didn't get anything extra. Keep an eye out for a golden egg. Whoever finds could win one, two, or three months of Mango Spice Cafes. Oh, lucky ducky do I ever got that one. I didn't get a golden egg. All right. Um, so the little puffs that we tried claim that they are cheese flavored. Uh, disagree. They did not taste like cheese. They just taste like regular. If I ever saw them, I probably wouldn't pick them up. They didn't really have much flavor. Uh, chumpa Chumpa Soft Drink. Um, mm. And it turns out um, everybody got a different flavor. So if you also got this box and got a different flavor than me, let me know what flavor you guys got and what you liked. And so it looks like these are called Pea Joy. And it's a tasty alternative Pocky made by Glicko and has tube shaped biscuits filled with cream earning the nickname Reverse Pocky. Ooh, this one is a raspberry filled inside a fragrant of a rose flavored biscuit. All right, now you have like piqued my interest and we're gonna have to give it a try. A Reverse Pocky. So if you're unfamiliar with Pocky, they look exactly like the stick, except for like the ends are dipped in some like sort of icing or something. Um, and they're really good. Oh damn, that's good. I think I do like the flavor to be inside the stick. This one's really intriguing. So this is a raspberry with a rose flavored biscuit so you could definitely smell the rose and you can bite into the rose and then as you're chewing you get hit with the raspberry flavor so i'm definitely a big fan of these if flower taste isn't for you you probably won't like this new brand um but if they are i highly suggest give it a try because they won't be over this one's really good. So they're called Pea Joys. And then the last one she goes over is the noodles. They are a Thai known for onion, garlic, ginger, soy sauce. And as we guessed it, chicken flavored. Alright. That is everything. We have our snacks. We have our manga. All that's left is to show you next month's one of their manga. Um, thank you for tuning in to RK Kaiju. I'll see you guys again next time. All right, spoiler for next box. You guys ready? And the creator of Full Metal Alchemist. I'm excited. Bye.